a very good morning to all of you welcome to stab exam forum student recently we had this isto assistant udc jps tano exam so lot of uh, students are asking me what could be the cut off score what should be the safe score for this particular exam so for answering that uh, i have come up with this session okay where we will try to answer all those questions okay so the outline of today's session uh, that we are going to cover will be like this the first uh, we will see the level of exam section wise uh, which section uh, student face the difficulty okay that we will see after that uh, we will also see the challenges uh, faced by the most of the student for this particular exam thereafter we will see the selection criteria how will be the filtering process goes for this particular exam and finally we will see the expected cut off uh, based on the assumption and the feedback which we got from the various students and finally what could be the way forward for the upcoming days okay so let's see the level of exam that was held uh, on 10th december that is on sunday section wise so as you know there were four section so coming to the general english student was saying that it was moderate not so much easy not so much difficult and it was moderate only and in the reasoning section it was uh, easy to moderate some questions are very easy to some questions which are taking actually more time as usual okay in quantitative aptitude student find uh, more difficulty okay uh, the questions were not so straight forward uh, they were moderate to the hard you can say because student were not uh, uh, like they were not expected some of the topics that they gave okay and in the last general knowledge uh, student was saying that it is easy to moderate uh, not so much difficult questions they have asked okay so overall you can say it is a moderate exam not so much difficult to crack but on the other hand it is not easy as well okay coming to the challenges uh, faced by the student the first one is the lengthy calculations in the quantitative aptitude that most of the student are uh, telling the other challenge faced by the students are the jumble in english uh, jumble sentences and paragraphs are there uh, which eats a lot of time after that omr feeling because nowadays most of the exam are uh, cbt computer based test but this exam was offline so omr feeling is also taking a time so overall the most difficult thing is time management okay so they were not able to manage time some of them have left the question without uh, even visiting once and in the tips i already told you if you are not able to answer that question in say 20 30 second you need to go forward so that's why in that case time management is essential but the one opportunity in that is that there was less attendance for these particular exam few centers they have a good amount of uh, response but whereas most of the centers uh, the attendance was very less that how uh, we got the feedback coming to the selection criteria as you know this exam was held on 10 december and uh, after that what will happen there will be a qualifying score okay uh, so qualifying score for sectional cut off student not the overall okay so each section you should score at least 25 marks if you belong to unreserved category this is not unreserved this is for reserved for reserved it is 40% of total that is comes to be 20 so sectional cut off if you clear for each section so each section you should get minimum 25 marks so straight away your minimum cut off is 100 marks 25 into 4 so 100 marks is a qualifying marks for overall paper okay and along with that you need to uh, have 
minimum sectional cutoff that is 25 marks for each of the four sections okay for reserve category it is 20 it is not in reserve it is reserve for reserve it is 20 marks okay so once uh, you are able to get all the sectional cutoff okay if you are not able to get your journey stops here okay so you cannot proceed for the skill test and if you uh, have cleared this sectional cutoff okay yeah, minimum of 25 marks and 20 marks then there will be a merit list so how they will prepare for assistant uh, it will be five times of the vacancies okay so as you can see uh, this is the overall uh, category wise so for unreserved it comes out to be 750 and we have seen um lacks of application were there but since attendance is very small so you can expect okay so overall there are 1695 approximately 1700 a uh, candidate will be shortlisted for skill test okay for jpa uh, it comes around 756 total of 756 you can look uh, on the category which you belong okay and accordingly uh, think whether you are able to crack this particular exam or not okay and if you are not able to get into merit even though you have qualified marks so your journey stops here and after that if you have qualified you can go for the skill test okay this is the selection criteria coming to the expected cut off uh, student one disclaimer is there that this uh, is based on our assumption and the feedback given by the candidates okay this is not final one this is assumption as already you know so what i find from the most of the candidates that they were saying they have attempted 140 to 170 questions even though it can be less it can be more but this is the thing that i come to know 140 to 170 and if we say that 30% of uh, this question is incorrect this is our assumption okay uh, since accuracy matters okay so suppose 30% of their questions went wrong so how much 51 questions they have uh, got wrong here if they are attempted 140 30% of that is 42 and if you calculate the negative score of the incorrect one it comes around 12.75 and 10.5 and overall net score which can be maximum in this case is 157.25 and 129.25 okay so overall what we find that for unreserved category it could be 130 to 160 it could be 130 to 160 it is a huge uh, thing for reserve category you can say 15% less uh, which can be uh, more than that but uh, as a general fair practice we are decreasing by 50% that is 110 to 136 okay so i hope this could be the so safe score for unreserved category 130 to 160 marks and for reserve category 110 to 136 okay and uh, we will see uh, what could be the cut off uh, uh, when uh, isro will release that okay so this is our assumption that is uh, the thing that i want to convey with you people okay so suppose what next uh, whether you are able to clear or not first thing you should understand that clearing cut off is not your benchmark okay you can take any example there are a lot of example okay uh, and i always tell my student that don't think that exam are the end of life this is just a part of life okay so if we were cleared then well and good start preparing for the skill test immediately don't take time okay and if you are not able to clear that exam uh, you have various other opportunity waiting for you there are lot of uh, vacancies coming in the upcoming months okay and recently we have uh, seen one good vacancy in ib and we are going to start the series soon as well okay so don't uh, worry if you are not able to clear the cut off uh, start preparing okay uh, this could be a stepping stone for your uh, for next exam you can think of like that okay 
so thanks for watching i hope i give you some insight uh, about the cutoff thank you for watching and have a nice day